Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about upgrading the Odroid that's running your Jagdroid system. So the original Odroid that I used to supply was the Odroid C2, uh, which is a few years old now. Uh, still perfectly capable, but um, as with all computer related things, it's been superseded by a newer, faster model. So now what we've got available is the Odroid N2. So the form factor is quite a bit different, as you can see, it's a lot larger. But in terms of the actual physical connectivity, it's pretty much identical, but the addition of a 3.5mm headphone audio output socket. So we can use that for analogue output now, as well as using the, the SPDIF output for digital sound. Now, there's um, one of the big differences about this when using it in the Jagdroid system is related to the power supply type. So the Odroid C2 used to come with a USB to a DC jack connection. So the DC jack would go into the Odroid and the Odroid would be powered by USB. So on the back of my um, Jagdroid conversions, I'd put a USB socket which supplied power, which was switched by a relay controlled by the Arduino. So that was all very, very good and worked absolutely fine. But unfortunately, the new Odroid, the N2, that's actually powered by 12 volts. So this has a, um, it's a larger DC jack and the cable that comes with it is a DC jack to DC jack which requires 12 volts. So obviously that won't work on the, um, the existing Jagdroid conversions that have got the switch USB port on the back. So what I've been doing probably since the start of 2020 is I've been pre-wiring all my new Jagdroids with, with a DC 12 volt output jack. And I've been fitting those with an external 5 volt USB power supply so they can be used with the Odroid C2. But from about the middle of 2020, I started supplying the Odroid N2 once they'd ironed out all the bugs in the software. So it's now a reliable system. There are a few teething troubles as, as there quite often is with the new releases of hardware. But that's now fully reliable. Um, I'd certainly recommend using the Odroid N2 over the C2. Um, now, the difficulty is it's not a plug-in direct replacement for the C2 because of the power supply related issue there. So I actually provide a service where I'll, um, I'll supply the Odroid N2 retrofitted with the SPDIF output, which you don't get a standard, it has to be actually soldered onto the board, um, with an eMMC storage um, card of 16 or 64 gig, whatever you prefer. Um, and I'll actually perform the modification to your Jagdroid system to fit the 12 volt DC jack if it doesn't already have one. Now that's it's obviously not ideal because you've got to remove your head unit, send it to me, I'll do the conversion, which normally we do in a day or two and send it back. But especially if you're overseas, it can be quite expensive and time consuming to, to send that back. So I've actually developed a little, um, a little retrofit kit, if you want to call it that, that I can supply with the Odroid N2, which means that you can order the N2 from me, I can send you this out, and the retrofit kit, and it means you don't have to open up your touchscreen to modify it, to add the, the DC jack or anything like that. So what it consists of is a little relay box here, um, a couple of wires here with an inline fuse, so what you do is you wire this into a 12 volt permanent live, so off the battery, so make sure it's not switched off the ignition because the power needs to be controlled by, by the Arduino. So it needs to be able to switch this on and off irrespective of what your ignition is. So you can wire this into ground and permanent live. That will give you a 12 volt DC output which you can plug into your Odroid using the supplied cable. And then it has a USB connector. So it's quite long, it's about a meter long. You might not necessarily need it that long. So the idea being you wire that into your 12 volt supply, that into your Odroid, and then that will plug into your existing five volt output, which comes from your existing Jagdroid system. So the, the Arduino and the Jagdroid will switch the five volt supply to this on and off, which activates the relay in here, which then switches the 12 volts here on and off. So by using that, you can retrofit the Odroid N2 to your Jagdroid system without having to open up the system or send it back to me. So that's it, just a quick video for you today. Uh, thank you for watching. 